This episode is brought to you by Alora, a Singapore brand trademark, the best seller in health and beauty in TikTok Singapore. Number one skin brightening and dark spot serum. Get 10% discount on your first purchase and free shipping worldwide. Shop online at alora.com. A L L U O R A.com. Hi, I'm Janisha Alora, founder of Soul Rich Woman, the number one leading female entrepreneur network in Southeast Asia, supporting one million women to own and love the F word. Fabulous, freedom, financial independence, and happy family. Alone, you are strong. Together, we are unstoppable. So go to soulrichwoman.com, grab your free five day online program, Money and Me How to Get Anything You Desire. Welcome to my show. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Soul Why, Secrets of the Soul Rich Woman Blueprint. I'm honoured to spend this time with you. No matter where you're listening, whether it's on your way to work or you're sitting in your office working on your business dreams, or even if you're driving around in the car with your kids sleeping at the back of the back seat, I have been there many times. So I love seeing your pictures and videos of where you're listening to my podcast. Send those things to me. I love seeing it and I love hearing from you and your ahas. Hey gorgeous, happy new year. Welcome to the first episode of the year. Wow, it's been an amazing journey running this Soul Wide podcast for the past three years. And this is our fourth year running. I'm pretty excited. In today's episode, I want to share with you millionaire mindset lesson. There are easier ways to make money. My name is Janisha, founder of Soul Rich Woman, money mindset mentor, and author, and founder of the Soul Rich Woman Blueprint Bootcamp. I'm also the co-founder of Alora Skincare Products, a Singapore brand trademark. And we share with you how to reduce your pigmentation and dark spots and achieve glowy, dewy skin. Now, as you might know, I teach money mindset along the way and clearing your money blocks so that you can live an amazing, soul-rich woman life. And that is S-O-U-L-R-I-C-H-W-O-M-A-N dot com. Now, I'm sharing today another lesson from my Millionaire Mindset Lessons from Soul Rich Woman. Becoming a millionaire doesn't really make you special or clever. But the truth is that my biggest secret for becoming one is focusing on some very specific mindset upgrades. So here's today's lesson. There are easier ways to make money. Repeat after me. There are easier ways to make money. Say that again. There are easier ways to make money. One more time. There are easier ways to make money. How does it feel for you? Now, when I was really young, I had to support myself through school since I was 14 years old. And because of that, one of the key things that got stuck in me was I had to work really hard to make money. It was really, really difficult. Because everything that I do, I need to put in the time, the effort, and every single hour, I was churning out dollars. If I did not put in effort, I would not make any money at all. And even when I joined Miss Singapore Universe in 2006, becoming second runner-up, and then later on joining Miss Singapore International, and winning the title to represent Singapore in Japan and also China, I was standing on international stage. I worked really, really hard. Everything was all about working hard, working hard, and working hard. After that, I became an image consultant. I spent five figures for a certificate as an image consultant from image Um, impressions, I think First Impressions London. I took my certification from First Impressions London. So I remember very clearly, I had put in so much effort and so much time to get things done. And I had so much things stuck in working hard and then only then I can make money. I never knew that making money was easy. 
And then when I started my business as an image consultant, I was doing taking up clients. I was spending so much time and yet my income was not growing. Imagine doing a group class with charging one client only $45 to $80 a client for a day's workshop. And my income was limited by the number of people that I can fit into a classroom. So it's so difficult. Just by listening to this story, you know that my money block is really there. Work hard, you get paid. You work hard, then you can achieve success. And now, in these days, as a soul rich woman, I teach manifestation. I talk about money blocks. I talk about how do you clear your energy so that you, there are so much easier ways to make money. And there are easier ways to make money. I mean, I say this all the time when I find myself doing the opposite. Like even in my current business, whether running a Laura skincare or even Soul Rich Woman platform, I might be overcomplicating, over, overcomplicating things like pursuing idea that's not exactly in my zone of genius, like designing a website. It's not my zone of genius. Or otherwise making things harder for myself. And sometimes I'm not even willing to hire help to help me to do the things. Even I have a team, I sometimes just want to do it myself. I have this thing about carrying the stuff with me. So maybe you do the same as me. In the pursuit of entrepreneurial dream, we often take the hardest route. And that is why a lot of my early businesses failed. Not because the ideas were not good, because they felt really difficult for me. And I just wanted the outcome, the money. And I didn't really care about the business at all. Sometimes I pursued a really good idea that wasn't even a natural fit to me, such as a dating agency. I started a dating agency that failed terribly and I went into a six-figure debt because of that, because the three other partners were kind of, you know, not suitable. There was a mismatch. Oh, and many other things. Story for another day. So... When I looked at all these situations, I thought about trends. I thought about, wow, if this is something that was so easy, dating is something that a lot of singles out there, we want to do this. Perfect. Let's get it done. You know, I thought that this would be great idea. But like I said, it ended up in a debt, like six-figure debt. <laughs> anyway, so let's come back to this. In the end, I started Soul Rich Woman and many other things. And all I can say is this. Maybe you are overcomplicating things. Uh, maybe you are going to the wrong industry, trying to help the wrong people, or pursuing a business that's simply the wrong fit for your skills and talents. There is a path of least resistance. You just have to find it. Just remember, you don't have to pursue random business ideas. You don't have to buy all the catchy domain names and it's okay to let hobbies be hobbies. In fact, turning into a hobby can, turning a hobby into a business can take the joy out of it. So like for me, I love my cats at home. Instead of turning into a pet hotel or running a pet shop, I just have three cats at home. I'll just be happy with my cats. <laughs> so you can be an activist for a change without turning your activism into a business. If you don't solve a problem, don't worry, someone else will and you can count on it. And you will have to learn this lesson over and over again. Deciding not to pursue an idea doesn't mean that it's not important to you. Because, like for example, when I, I told you about my cat, I wanted to do the cat business do a pet shop but you know what not my calling and definitely not my business i mean there are really easier ways to make money can you see what point i'm driving towards you can care about something deeply sign a petition make a donation but not make it into your business contribute someone else's crowdfunding campaign without making it into your business you can write a letter to your local newspaper but not make it your business have a really fantastic business idea without making it into your business. Saying no to a good idea is hard lesson to learn because everything sounds so juicy, sounds so possible. But if you don't, you can't focus on your real purpose. 
Now, I wasn't put on this earth to do matchmaking or revenue revolutionize matchmaking and to help all the singles out there to become attached or married with my previous business, such as the dating business, agency business, dating agency business in Singapore, or even just, you know, <laughs> whatever that may be. So there are easier ways to make money than to follow a path that's not yours. Work with people that you can really help, okay? And if you work with people that you can't really help, um, I only can say this, solve a problem. Let I think sometimes you should let others who can solve the problem better than you solve the problem. Go into your zone of genius. There are easier ways to make money, okay? Hey gorgeous, I can help you to build your dreams. Now you can work with me in my Money Mindset Coaching Program and Mastermind Community Soul Rich Woman. The more you surround yourself with inspiring, successful and supportive people, the more you'll feel safe to dream. Let's clear all the old stories, beliefs and sabotages that are stopping you, holding you back and making you go round and round in circles and not allowing you to create your soul-rich life. Fabulous, freedom, financial independence, and a happy family. It's fun and practical. That is S-O-U-L-R-I-C-H-W-O-M-A-N.com or simply email us at hello at soulrichwoman.com So, come and join us.